Well, this week I've been thinking about how much time you need to to put a dent in in your work and I'm I'm just getting back to sort of setting up a routine where I can write music for some pockets in the week and it's it's definitely better than when I've gone through weeks where there were no pockets and you can't really compare the two however that that the, the those weeks when you have you know just 30 minutes an hour total of the whole week that can be frustrating too because you 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 you're dealing with a bit of a scarcity of options and it reminds me of I was in a master's program a few years ago and they had a career counselor who came in and she said if you're like if when people are looking for a job if they if they're only like talking to a few people and they only apply to a few places the 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 focus that they put on those opportunities is kind of disproportionately amplified from what what it should be because in in the job world people they have to talk to a lot of people and get new ideas and then keep applying and so if you're talking to five ten people and you've applied to the same amount of, of jobs your your chances of anything good happening are fairly low and the chances of you being discouraged as a result are, are pretty high so the same thing happens is if you have 30 minutes to work on on music like your whole week and nothing good happens because good chance that it it won't right you just such a small amount of time has been put in and and then you your chance of being kind of upset are pretty high so the key is don't that those those 30 minute sessions they kind of open the door to to saying ah okay now i'm getting back into it and this is this is how it works this is how i like for for recording music it's often a, a case of like okay what's your setup how do you put down a track how do you build a track your that's kind of your, your technology and your your method and your format and if you haven't been working with your tools in a while, you're you kind of are rusty. So those first few pockets are your you're kind of getting back into it, and so you have to be really, really forgiving in those times. And then hopefully you will find a way to to escalate and then make, build a better routine where you get more pockets out. And it it, it is kind of like. A bit like playing the lottery as you play more your chances go up so yeah you want to be buying more lottery tickets <laughs> with your work and that's why it can be I mean I didn't want to take that analogy too far because the lottery can be destructive and it can be pretty frustrating for people and they, they spend a lot of money um, on the lottery but you get the point that you're buying more tickets as you as you you put in the time and yeah it's the 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 building of a of a streak which that's where you eventually can can take it i i found though i don't really do amazing with with streaks over time which is referring to like um, habit tracking apps where you kind of tick off a day they also call it this the Jerry Seinfeld method because he would write a joke every every day that he wrote he would put an X on the calendar I, I it can be good but I, I I've never really sustained that for 
significant periods of time, um, but that's an option for you as well. If you once you pass that first stage where you're you know you're putting in just a little bit of time every week on your project, um, then you can say, okay, actually I do this every day. It's part of my part of your identity that at 7 a.m. or 7 p.m. you you write this thing or you paint or, or whatever it is. So. Okay, I hope this was good, and yeah, let me know what you think.